all right guys so it is girls night um this is one of the things i'm making for girls night um, we're gonna do some crock pot meatballs now i've done this recipe prior before but i'm gonna switch it up a little bit because i feel like the last time it was a little too sweet so we have some meatballs um i was debating when i should do one or two packs but i think one pack is good enough there's only gonna be about four of us and then we're gonna add some barbecue sauce some sweet chili some grape jelly and a twist on this is i'm gonna add some garlic chili sauce just a little bit so let's get to it all right so let's put in our meat here. And I think this is gonna be good because we're gonna have a security board, we're gonna have some sausages, so I think this should just be enough. Um, we're gonna add some barbecue sauce, and I'm gonna just eyeball this. Okay, we're gonna add some green jelly. This is difficult to do with it. Okay, I think that's good enough. I'm gonna add some of that sweet chili. I'm gonna add very little of this garlic chili sauce. I think that's about two tablespoons. I wanna mix, mix this. Make sure it's all coated. Plenty of sauce at the bottom, and this will start to release some juices as it cooks. So there's going to be plenty of liquid. Um, I am going to turn on my crock pot, and I'm going to put it to to low, and I'm going to put it for five hours. I'll check it at the four hour mark. It is officially girls movie night. Woo! So the husband is away. He just left. The girls are on their way and I'm getting ready. I have the meatballs pretty much done. It's on warm in the crock pot. Um, let me show you guys the spread. So here's the spread. I'm gonna cook these sausages, but everything else is just a sh for the security board. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling everything. I have to cut that watermelon as well and just start putting everything into place. I also gotta take off the cream cheese so that, that can start softening as well for the board. So let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right, everyone, let's start creating this board. So I'm gonna start by washing my grapes. And of course, you could put any type of fruits you want on here dry fruits, fresh fruit, apples, pears. Um, but I love grapes and cheese, it's my favorite snack. So, I'm just gonna have some grapes on there. Sometimes, I'll add some dried apricots on there as well. But we're just gonna do the grapes for this one. Now, um, I normally buy blocks of cheese and just cut them myself, but I was taking a shortcut because it has been a long weekend of cleaning, so I decided to just um, buy some sliced up cheese, some cheese that was has already been sliced. I'm going to place my cream cheese down, and you're going to see and you're going to notice that I am constantly rotating things and moving it around as I'm placing things on the board um, just to make it a little bit to just fight everything first of all and then of course making it more aesthetically pleasing. 
So that's what we're gonna do here is just start assembling the cheeses, the meats, uh, the pretzels, the nuts, and work our way through the board. So this is the finished board. We have everything assembled. I'm going to take this and put it on the dining room table and start preparing the spread. It was yummy. Here is the girls' night spread. We still have some stuff coming. We're gonna order a pizza. And uh, we're gonna make mojitos, so that's on its way too, so we can assemble those. But this is what it's looking like so far. We got some chips and dip. We have some watermelon, some sweet and spicy sausages. We have some sweet meatballs and a security board. It's looking yummy. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this content, please like, follow, and subscribe.